Hi everybody and welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome on board. We upload a lot of tech videos. We are approaching almost 2 million subscribers. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, and welcome to the channel. Today, I will show you how to get any Samsung Galaxy unlocked. This will work for any version, including the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold series, the Galaxy Z Flip series, A series, M series, or any Samsung Galaxy Note or S series. But before we begin, I have to mention a small disclaimer. We will not use any type of hacking or illegal bypassing tool to unlock this phone. And please be very careful with the spam comments left in this video. They are all from bots. So with that said, let's start. So let's begin by explaining the three types of unlocks. I will include timestamps so that you can skip according to what you're looking for. First off, we have the network unlock, also known as a carrier unlock. This will allow you to use your phone with any GSM SIM card in any country. Your phone will become compatible, simply insert a SIM card and your phone will be fully unlocked and used with any carrier. Skip to this minute to start with that tutorial. Then we have the passcode unlock. This is also referred as a security unlock. Maybe you forgot the security pattern or maybe your phone has been locked because of too many incorrect attempts. I will show you how to get access to your phone again. This is assuming that you are the owner. It is important that the phone is yours. If it belongs to somebody else, it is possible that it has a lock on the cloud or the Google account. Skip to this minute to start with that tutorial. And lastly, we have the cloud-based lock, also referred as a Google account lock. That's if your phone has been locked with a Google account from the previous owner. Unfortunately, we will not cover this in this video. So feel free to skip through the video according to what you need. Now we will begin with the network unlock. We need to keep in mind that unlocking a phone is not a free process. We will have to use a paid service to get this phone unlocked. And in my opinion, the benefits obtained from getting your phone unlocked completely outweigh the costs. One of the biggest benefits for myself is when I travel, I can simply use my phone with any GSM carrier, eliminating roaming costs. Roaming costs are crazy expensive. And by buying local SIM cards when I travel, I've saved so much money. Another benefit is that the resale value increases. If you have an unlocked phone, you could resell it in the future at a much higher price because you can resell it to any potential buyer regardless of the carrier and the service provider they use. The tool that I'm about to show you will also help you get your phone unlocked regardless if it's currently under an active contract with your service provider. And by the way, this is 100% legal, safe, and the phone does not suffer any harm or damage in any way. So the first step is to get your phone's IMEI number. This is a unique number and you can get it by dialing star hash zero six hash. As you will see, the 15 digit IMEI number will show up in your screen. This is very important. You can also find this number behind the box or in the settings of your device. Now we're gonna switch cameras and we're gonna go to the computer. So once you're in the computer, go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will request the unlock to unlock this phone using the IMEI number. So we need to start by filling in the form. First off, we're going to select the original carrier. That's the place where you bought it. In this case, my phone is locked to AT&T in the United States. Then you will select the brand of your phone and then write down your exact model. In some cases, you will see an economic service and a premium service. The difference is the waiting time. Some get processed faster than others. The price will also change. If you are not sure about the exact model, you can send them a message using your IMEI number and they will give you a full report on your device. By the way, if your Samsung Galaxy has the Device Unlock app pre-installed in your phone, you will have to select the service here. There will be one that says Unlock App. For now, I'm going to select my model. So after you have selected your model, you're going to scroll down and you will have to insert your 15 digit IMEI number. That's the number we got a few seconds ago. Lastly, you're going to insert your email. That's where you want to receive your unlock code. So make sure you write it down correctly. Very important as well. The next step is to insert your mobile phone number in case you want to receive updates about your order. Up next, we're going to find the price to get your phone unlocked and the processing time. Keep in mind that the processing time is in business days, which means it does not include weekends. So we have to be very patient. This will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier and country. For now, we're going to hit unlock now. On the following page, you're going to see a screen just like this. Make sure that all the details are correct. If you're interested in knowing how the unlock actually works, you can go ahead and read all the information here. It would also tell you which carriers are supported and which carriers are not. I have unlocked more than 100 phones using this method and it works perfectly most of the times. So then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to place my order. It's going to take a while so that it gets processed. So I'll be back once I have completed my unlock. So after placing the order, you will have to wait a few days to get your phone unlocked. So once you have received your unlock code in your email, it will look something like this. Now we just need to activate the unlock. So for that, I'm going to grab my device and we're going to power it off. Once your device is fully off, we're going to insert a non-supported SIM card. 
For example, my phone is locked to AT&T. I'm gonna insert a SIM card from T-Mobile or any other GSM carrier. So I'm gonna go ahead, insert it, and then we're gonna power it on. In most cases, you will be immediately required to enter the unlock code that you obtain from Unlock Weaver in your email. So just simply go ahead, insert it, make sure it is correct, and then we're gonna hit unlock. Boom. And the phone should accept the code and your phone should be unlocked. As you can see here, my phone was unlocked successfully and my new carrier, T-Mobile, is already running. Perfect. Now my phone is fully unlocked. Now, if your phone didn't require an unlock code when you powered on, the other method is to get your phone unlocked through the Unlock Device app. So once you have received the email saying that your phone has been unlocked, you simply need to go through the application. It's already pre-installed. It will look something like this. You simply need to open it and press Request Unlock. And that should work and your phone should be unlocked right after that. So it is as simple as that, guys. That's how you get your phone unlocked. And now you should be able to use it without any limitations. Now we're going to start with the passcode unlock or the security unlock. The first thing I have to mention is that we will do a full reset of the phone and we're going to restore it to factory settings. All the information will be deleted. The only way to get back your data is if you have a backup somewhere in your computer or in the cloud. Otherwise, all the information, pictures, data, contacts will be completely deleted from this device. So just want to make sure that you understand that. The second is if the phone belongs to a different owner and it's a stolen phone, the chances are that it will have an activation lock from the iCloud and you will not be able to use it. So just keep that in mind. The device will be restored to factory settings. So let's begin. The first thing is to connect your device to your computer using the cable and make sure that it has enough battery. Then we will enter recovery mode by pressing the following command. For the majority of the Samsung devices, this is how you enter recovery mode. Simultaneously, press and hold the volume up key and the side key for 10 to 5 seconds. Eventually, you will see the Android logo and that means that you entered successfully recovery mode. Now we will use the volume keys to navigate through the menu. Scroll down to where it says wipe data factory reset. Then use the side key to confirm. Now we will confirm and warning, this will wipe the data of your phone. Up next, you're gonna see the following screen. We're gonna select reboot system now and the device will restart. Now your device will be restored to factory settings and it will be ready to use again. Simply go ahead, fill in the initial setup. If your device has a Google account lock, the only way to access the information is by contacting the original owner or by trying to get the password of the account that is currently locked to. Now, if you have a backup, you can simply connect it or install it from the iCloud and you should be able to access your phone again. So that's it guys, that's how you unlock any Samsung Galaxy device. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section down below and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.